morning everyone it is monday i can't remember the last time i actually spoke to you on a monday but i'm off to work um i can officially say that i put my christmas tree up this week which i'm so excited about i'm planning to do it on saturday so friday i want to come home from work and have like a massive house clean um, and then like finish doing all the cleaning on Saturday morning and then just spend the whole day putting up all of my Christmas decorations uh, because my family and Will's family are going to meet for the first time on Saturday night um, so I thought it'd be nice if the Christmas decorations are up plus um, I'm going to a Christmas fair on the 1st of December with my mum which is when I normally put my tree up so I'm really excited. I'm trying to use that to get me through this week because I'm not feeling good, guys. I just never feel well. I know I moan about it a lot, um, but it's just part and parcel of having a chronic illness, but it doesn't mean that it's fun. You get used to it, but I just feel so poorly all the time. Like right now I'm sat here, I've got a banging headache. My whole body just aches. I've barely slept because my stomach is keeping me up most of the night at the moment. I'm just tossing and turning with really bad tummy pain. Um, and I'm just a bit fed up, really. So I'm trying to use the excitement of the weekend to keep me going this week. Um, I don't really have any plans this week apart from at the weekend. Um, whereas last week was absolutely crazy. So I'm hopefully looking forward to a bit more of a chilled week. I had a really chilled weekend and it was much needed. So, yeah. I'll catch up with you in a bit. I ended up being out of the house literally from like morning until night. It was so dark when I got back and I was so tired. So I just had dinner and went to bed. Um, but today is Tuesday. I've been to work and then I popped into town this afternoon because I want to undertake a project in the kitchen. So currently the tiles in the kitchen, if I turn this way, the light might be marginally better. The tiles in the kitchen, this is what they were like when we moved in. They're quite dated um, just because of sort of like the different colours and I don't find them, you know, like offensive in any way. I don't mind them, um, but the grout is really damaged and dirty and we've scrubbed it and it's just not getting any better. The, um, what are they called? Plug sockets are really dirty and wonky and everything. In fact, like everything in this house is wonky. Everything in this kitchen is wonky. All the cupboard doors are wonky. Um, but anyway, long story short, yeah, long story short, we were meant to um, do a kitchen extension in the next year or so, but because Will proposed and we decided to get married next year, um, most of our money is now going to be tied up in the wedding and we don't mind that. We haven't got a small wedding, but you know, it still costs a lot of money even to have a small wedding unless you are just going to the registry office or something like that. So um, we have had to put off the kitchen extension and because we were going to do the extension we haven't done anything in the kitchen to sort of improve it or make it look nicer or whatever um so because we've had to put off the extension and money is tight right now because of the wedding i was thinking that i might do a really simple like diy renovation on the kitchen and paint the tiles um, I originally wanted to paint the whole thing, but I think that's going to be too much of an undertaking right now. I might attempt the cabinets <laughs> next year, but for now I think I'm just going to do the tiles. So I picked up a few supplies in Wilkinson's today. So Wilkinson's do a tile paint and they call it one coat because apparently it only needs one coat. But um, from videos I've watched online and tutorials, most people say you do need two coats, um, but that the quality is pretty good. So... I figured I would try that and I got the pale grey because I just thought it would be something a little bit different and it would be a chance to try out a different colour in the kitchen because we've always just had like cream and wood tones. Um, I picked up two medium and coarse sanding blocks and some masking tape because I can't find our masking tape. I really wanted to get some sugar soap as well so that I could give the tiles a good scrub uh, before I paint and sand them because that's a really important step to try and get as much of the grease and everything off the tiles as possible um but they they didn't sell any so i need to either try and get that somewhere else or um just try and scrub them down with bleach or something but yeah so that is my like next project that i want to try and undertake i wanted to do it this week um and i was going to start it today but i am meant to be seeing a friend this afternoon she's meant to be coming over um but I texted her at lunchtime to ask if she was still coming and it's now half two which is like the later end of when she said she would arrive and she's not here. 
she hasn't replied to my text so I know that her little boy had a doctor's appointment today so I hope that that's all gone okay and um, I think maybe she's just forgotten and not look at, looked at her phone um, but if she doesn't turn up then I'll make a start on the kitchen and I'm hoping to film the whole process as well so you guys can see what I do. Hi guys, I'm in my dark craft room. Um, so I cleaned the whole house after I got home from town and it's now like well over an hour after my friend said she would be here. So I texted her again and was like, I hope everything's okay. I thought you were coming over and she forgot. <laughs> she replied to me and she totally forgot. So I think I'm gonna do some crafting um, instead of sitting here the whole afternoon. At least I know now that she's not coming around. Um, and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna start doing the tiles and stuff so yeah I have got out a bunch of Christmas stuff so I've got random washi tape and twine and tags and things there and then I've got like the rest of my favorite Christmas supplies there um, and I've also got the papers and embellishments and stuff from the November lollipop box club kit and I need to make some projects to send over to Lisa so I think I'm gonna do that okay here we go I hope you can see that all right, but I've just gone for a really simple little setup. And the inside is um, made up of some of the planner pack from Lollipop Box Club. So I will photograph that tomorrow because it's too dark right now. And you know what? I might just start on those tiles. Hello. <laughs> um, I have decided to crack on with some of the tile stuff. Um, so I've just taken everything off of the sides and put it into the living room and I'm now going to quickly wipe down all of the sides where all the appliances and everything were and um, then I'm going to start scrubbing down the tiles so I hope that this is all going to go okay but we'll see. <laughs> So I have cleaned all the tiles, I've lightly sanded them and I've put all my masking tape down and I stopped filming at that for most of that because it was really boring. But I'm gonna start painting now and I'm really nervous because like once you start painting, that's it, isn't it? You can't go back. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a go. It's much later now, it's 10 to five. It's taken me a really long time to get to this point and I feel like Will might be a bit annoyed when he comes home and finds the kitchen like this when he wants to make dinner. But we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Okay everyone, excuse the dishwasher and the uh, painting mess in the corner, but this is the next day. The tiles are all painted. I had to stop filming last night because I figured it would be a bit boring and it was so dark in here. But yeah, I think it looks okay. I mean, anything is better than what we had before. So I'm pretty chuffed with it for £15 for a tin of paint. I don't think it was bad at all. So 
Yeah. Hello everyone, it's a bit later on, on Wednesday. I just popped into my mum and dad's house because I wanted to see how my little brother was doing because he's home from uni normally on a Wednesday. Um, but him and my mum are actually out, out at an appointment. He and my mum are actually out at an appointment, if I can get my words out. Um, so I might just hang around here for half an hour and wait till they come back because my mum says that they're nearly done and I might tidy up the kitchen for my mum a bit because I think my dad and my brothers sorry that was the dog I think my dad and my brothers have been dumping stuff everywhere so I might try and clean up a bit for her and that'll be a nice surprise when she gets in also when I was in town yesterday buying the tile paint I bought a new coat I really wanted this pink coat weeks ago and I didn't buy it because I thought people would judge me for having a pink coat but do you know what I don't care so I've got a pink coat from the new look kids section for anyone who's interested yes I still haven't sorted out the painting stuff but for anyone who's interested, this is how the tiles are looking two days after I did all of the painting. Um, there's a few little like flaws and imperfections that have come out now that it's starting to dry. Um, apparently it takes three days for them to fully dry. Um, I'm not, I'll admit, I'm not 100% crazy about the colour and I don't think Will is either really. There's a few bits here that I've clearly missed, um, which is annoying. but. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that like Will is absolutely crazy about the colour either, just from how he sort of talks about it when I ask him if he likes it. But um, I still feel like it looks better than it looked before. And I think part of the problem is that we need a new blind. And I think once we have a new blind, it will make all the difference. It's virtually impossible to show you because obviously like the light is coming in from that way. So it's making the blind look really dark, but it's actually like a... I think it was probably cream originally, but it's been like sun bleached, so it's gone like a real yellowy colour. Um, and it just needs replacing, and I think once that's done, it will look loads nicer, um, because it will, I want to get something that will like match the tiles more, and I want to paint the walls of the kitchen uh, closer to like a white colour, so again it won't be contrasting with the cream so much of the tiles. Um, but yeah, I mean it's fine for now until we can like redo the kitchen entirely but I don't know I kind of wish that I had just waited until they got the white paint paint in stock and just did them white but it's fine you have to try these things okay it's got super dark in here as always but I've had a busy couple of hours I have been addressing save the dates for the wedding because I still have not sent them all out so I only need a couple more addresses now when it's done so that's great um, I've called my car insurance company and arranged my renewal because I felt like they were charging me way too much compared to last year for no particular reason. So I've got that uh, reduced. And I have sent off a few emails. I've emailed the registrar uh, for the wedding to see what our next steps are. And I need to email back my venue now because she emailed to see how things were all going. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've had a really productive couple of hours. It's only half past two. I've had some lunch. So now I need to get uh, stuff. Blah, blah 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 blah. Now I need to get some photos taken uh, for Lollipop Box Club because I made that project the other day and then just didn't take photos of it because I every time I've been in the house it's been pitch black. Um, and I'm sure that there's other things I need to do as well. It's Friday. I got home from work a little while ago. And Archie got his new Equa fleece finally. The right size arrived. Oh, don't choke, Bubba. <laughs> um, originally, I ordered the wrong size, but now um, I have the right one. And he looks so cute, but he's just flopped on my lap and he doesn't want to get up. But I'm, I'm leaving it on him for a little while because he's not so keen at the moment. So I want him to get used to walking in it. He's such a scruff. I booked him a groomer's appointment yesterday, but look how cute he is in his little suit. It's um, an equa fleece. I love equa fleece. Um, I discovered them when I got Winnie because everyone gets them for their dachshunds and I got him the full suit because it will stop him from getting so muddy and matted when we go on walks and it will keep him warm. Have you noticed the way his head tilts every time I say walk? <laughs> you want to go out? Is that it? You want to go out? But yeah, for anyone wondering, these are £28 in... The like teeny tiny sizes, this isn't an ad. I bought it myself because I love the brand. I just thought you might want to see him because he looks adorable. Hello 
everyone, it's just coming up to 10 a.m. on Saturday morning and I'm just now having a chance to chat to you. Um, it's Christmas tree day today. Um, I would not normally be rushing around so much. I would be taking my time, drinking a cup of tea, just putting my tree up and enjoying myself. But tonight we are having a family gathering at our house and my parents are meeting Will's parents for the first time. Uh, but it does mean that I'm having to make sure the house is like in tip top condition because I don't want anyone to come in and think the house is like a mess or whatever. I did quite a big house clean on Tuesday, so the place actually isn't looking too bad. I'm just more like organizing and tidying things uh, because I have a lot of Christmas stuff to come out. So the things that it's gonna be replacing, I need to like put those away. Um, and yeah, I've just been doing lots of that this morning. So Will loaded up the car and has gone to the skip. Um, well, like the tip <laughs> um, to dump a load of stuff that we no longer need or want. And he's taking some stuff to the charity shop as well. Um, then he's gonna come back and we're gonna put the tree up together, I think. Um, and then the rest of the decorations will sort of go up throughout the course of the day, room by room, most likely. Um, we need to do the food shop. We need to get a few nibbles and things for tonight. And um, I also want to go to Home Bargains or somewhere like that and pick up a few bits. So. Busy, busy. Okay, so I opened my Christmas boxes that are underneath my dresser and I've started getting out all my kitchen stuff because um, I figured I could move all that into the kitchen before the chaos of beginning to put up the tree and I've like cleaned the table and everything. Um, although now all of that's been sat on it, I'll probably have to clean it again. But yeah, that's my other Christmas box there. I've got some of my Christmas plates, which I'll probably use tonight to serve things. And yeah, I'm ready to get cracking.
up, yay! I ended up getting a bit stressed, as I always do, because the lights looked rubbish, so we had to faff around with the lights and try and find an extra set. My makeup's all running down my face. Um, and I've done a few bits in the living room. The living room's pretty much decorated now, but it just looks a mess because there's a bunch of other stuff to go into the kitchen and into other rooms. Um, and I haven't done my craft room tree yet, but it's only 10 to one, so I'm not doing too badly. Um, even if the only room that gets finished today is the living room, that's still nice and it'll be nice when people come round, so good. <laughs> the tree always leans slightly to one side. It always looks a little bit wonky, but it just adds to the character, doesn't it? I think it looks cute. Then I've got a little centerpiece going on here with my table runner on my table. All of this is gonna be moved, obviously. I tried to put the stockings up on the curtain rail like we had them last year, but one of them just keeps spinning around, so it's just not sitting nicely at all. So I might put them up in our bedroom because now we have a bed. And then, sorry, I know it's dark. There's a few bits over here and a few bits over here. That's my craft room tree. These camp chairs are for later because we don't have enough seating for everyone. And I've also put a little garland around the gorgeous drawing that my brother did for me last Christmas. Good afternoon everyone, it's now Sunday. The time really ran away with me yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna show you the rest of how the house ended up looking when I decorated for Christmas. Uh, but this morning my mum and I went to a Christmas fair, which was really nice. Um, I wanted to film, but it was absolutely heaving. It was so full of people. Um, the fair itself was quite small, so I only got a few little clips, which you'll be seeing now, but we had a nice time and we got a hot chocolate and a cake and then we came home. So I've got some time this afternoon to try and edit this vlog and get it up today. I really hope I can. If not, it will be tomorrow. Archie is sniffing my leg. Um, but yeah, it's the 1st of December today and I wanted to do vol Vlogmas, but I know that I'm just not going to be able to do it. So instead I'm going to try and get as many like other videos up as well as my normal weekly vlogs. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and film some this week. <laughs> Archie's now watching me like a little creeper in the hallway. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the kitchen anyway. This is a mess because it's all stuff left over from yesterday, but we've got our little Christmas wish list hanger there with our advent calendars. We already bought some and then my mum bought us one each as well and I haven't opened mine yet so I need to do that. I've got my little Christmas light in the window um, but then over here is where most of the Christmas stuff is. So my mum bought us some flowers which I've just popped in that Christmas vase there and then I've got most of my Christmas Emma Bridgewater mugs all on my mug tree ready for people to use which looks really cute. And then this here is going to be my hot chocolate station. So, so far I've got um, a mug with some spoons in, some mini candy canes, big candy canes, this little cup just because it's cute. And then I've got hot chocolate and marshmallows. But I want to get a few more bits because my friends are coming around next weekend and I'm pretty sure they're going to want to use that. Um, but that's all I've done in the kitchen. I haven't gone crazy. But this is how the living room ended up looking. So you've already seen that I put lights on my dresser a couple of weeks ago, but I changed the batteries so that they were brighter because the batteries I was using were really bad. 
um, but I've got my Merry and Bright bunting up there. And then Will's mum also very kindly bought us some flowers. So those are in, in this jug on the table. Um, I don't have another Christmas jug. I need to get one in the sale maybe. Um, and then I've got this little, oops, I've got this little centerpiece here. I've got my The Holidays Are Coming teapot with a little mini mug with some mini candy canes. This little tea light holder, which I need to put a tea light in. And my little Christmas terrine with coasters. I put my table runner out and my placemats and I've got a candle there. Obviously my tree, which I just love and I think it turned out so pretty this year. I'm really happy with it. I just love the traditional colors of like red, green and gold for a tree. Then over here, I know it's backlit so it's difficult to see, but I've got my little countdown to Christmas, which actually I need to change to 24 days until Christmas because it is the 1st of December today. And I've got one of my little gonks there, a candle, well, two candles. And then I've got my Bath and Body Works candle and my most wonderful time of the year, star. The dog's bed has been moved over there and I've put the Christmas blankets in. So that's Winnie's little bed with her Christmas blankets. They are personalized. They're from Ruby Spaniel Designs. I think that's what it was called. Um, but that's Archie's. And then Winnie also has a personalized one there it is sorry i know that's super dark um then i've got this little arrangement here with all my toadstools and um a little tea light holder archie likes to demonstrate everything i show uh, we have the couch with my tartan throw and then my christmas cushions this one was new and it's from tk maxx if anyone is interested <laughs> honestly archie you're so silly and then when we go into the office, these fairy lights on my bookcase stay up year round, but I must admit I don't really use them year round. I mainly put them on at Christmas. And then the only other Christmassy thing I've got is my beautiful Disney themed tree that I put up every year and I've had for like 11 or 12 years now. And the dogs have got a little Christmas decoration on their crate, but that's it. But yeah, I haven't tackled upstairs yet. The only room that I would do anything to would be our bedroom. So we have our Christmas bedding on, but um, I haven't like tidied the room or put our fairy lights up or anything. So I'll do that at some point this week. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how the house is looking this year. I just love this tree so much. And I can't remember if I explained, but I have a Christmas decoration for every year that Will and I have had a house. Um, it would have been nice if we'd have had one for every year that we were together. I might go back and see if I can if see if I can buy one from somewhere for 2013 and 2014 but I'll show you the ones we do have. So Will and I got our first house in 2015 so I didn't live there at Christmas um, of that year but Will had moved in so his mum bought us a decoration to celebrate having our own house and then the next year we did live together so my mum bought us this one which said Merry Christmas 2016 to celebrate actually moving in together. And then that started a bit of a tradition. So then the following year, my mum bought, where is it? This one here. It's a Starbucks one and it says 2017 on it. And then last year we went to a Christmas fair and they had really beautiful, like special hand blown glass ones with the year on, so my mum got that one, 2018, which is so beautiful. And then I got this one when we went to New York in October in Macy's because it says 2019 and it has a tree on it. So we have one every year that we've had our own house. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to try and find like a 2013 and 2014 one on eBay or something. But I'm just so happy with the tree. Okay. Yeah, I'm home for the day now. I don't really have anything else to share, so I will say goodbye to you. Um, I will see you next week, hopefully with a couple of extra videos as well as a weekly vlog. Um, and I hope you're feeling Christmassy after this vlog because I certainly am. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.